Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain how to find the largest number, right, among all the input values. Generally, if you want to find out that largest element and the smallest element, so always we go with the arrays concept only. But here it is, I am going to explain how to find out the largest element without using array. Without using array. See here, first we are reading. Execution starts with a main function. First we are declaring one variable, suppose n. Because I am going to ask how many elements you want to enter. So here using printf and scanf we are reading. Enter number of elements number of elements and that we are reading into into n into n suppose n value is a 5 consider just consider for example n equal to 5 so we are asking enter all the 5 elements printf printf enter enter n elements n means what percentage d percentage d here n we are writing that n value will display here because n value is not constant it will change from time to time so what is the integer value you want to display that variable you are specifying here so the message is clear enter n elements we are reading one by one one by one as we are not using arrays concept here while reading the elements only, we have to check the biggest element. So that is why, first to repeat the for loop, i value starts with 1, 5 times, i is less than or equal to 5, i plus plus, i value starts with 1, i is less than or equal to n. So generally array index starts with 0, here we are not using the concept of arrays. So, 5 times we have to repeat. So, 1 to 5 we are repeating as n value is a 5. If n value is a 10, just 1 to 10 we are repeating. Here it is i variable we are declaring and next one, one variable we are taking large value is a 0. What is that initial value is a 0 I have given. 0. Now every time whenever we are reading scanf percentage d, we are reading into one element, into element we are reading. Suppose one more, here it is element. In the first iteration, whenever i equal to 1, they will input that first element. Suppose the consider the first element is a 13 first element is 13 that you are collecting into element. So, element equal to 13 first element. We need to check whatever the input value is greater than that largest element. If you found, if you found that element what you have read is greater than that largest element that what you have considered is a 0. Now, that element we are storing into large element we are storing into large what will happen here element value is a 13 13 is greater than 0 yes condition true nothing but we found one largest element then that element will go on store into large element is a 13 will go on store into large. Now large value become 13. After if block again for loop will be repeated. I value become 2. Second element we are reading. Suppose second element is a 5. Just consider. When the control come inside after reading, element is a 5. The new element is a 5. Greater than what is that largest value 13. 5 greater than 13 condition false. So, if block will not execute because second one is not the largest one. Next again i value increase to 3. So, third element it will collect suppose 30. 30 we are reading 
now 30 element is greater than large large value 13 30 is greater than 13 yes condition true then that element 30 will go and store into this large nothing but now this value become 30 next i value become 4 suppose next value is a 17 next value is a 19 suppose next whenever i value 6 6 is less than or equal to 5 condition false it will terminate just come out of the for loop and finally print print percentage d that large element we are printing because large element already contains that largest element from the list largest element from the list so this is just how to find the largest element from the given input values without using arrays concept hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you